and welcome to this uh, lecture on conducting market research chapter 5 on quarterly marketing management in this uh, section of understanding the markets from quarterly marketing management 14th and 16th editions particularly we are going to talk to you about in this lecture on recapping the concepts taught in the chapter 5 conducting market research answer any questions that have been asked in this chapter and give the solution to the cases at the end of the chapter <clears throat> scope what is the scope of market quickly starts with defining the scope of the market research marketing research so uh, marketing managers commission variety of marketing studies for specific problem and opportunities like market survey product preference stress etc etc and uh, these researches produce insight that help marketing managers decision making market research is a function that links consumers customers and public to marketeer through information to identify and define marketing opportunities and problems generate refine and evaluate marketing decisions monitor marketing performance and improve understanding of marketing as a process marketing research specific uh, specify the information required to address these issues designs the method for collecting information manages and implements the data collection process analyzes the results and communicates the findings so that's the entire scope of marketing research what are the how important are the marketing insights uh, marketing research is all about generating insight and these insights provide diagnostic information about how and why the certain effects in the marketplace are observed and what do they mean to the market here good marketing insights often form the basis of successful marketing program generating getting insights is crucial for marketing success and if the marketer lacks consumer insight they often get into trouble in spite of rapid rapid growth of marketing research many companies still fail to use it sufficiently they may not understand the capabilities of marketing research may not provide the research with sufficient least specific definition of the problem or opportunity that needs to be explored then there they may have unrealistic expectation about what market researchers can offer and failure to use marketing research properly can has lead to numerous uh, uh failures let's put it that way so who does marketing research uh there is a combination of resources uh, to study industries competitors audiences and channels uh they budget 1 to 2% marketers and addition large companies have their own market research department uh marketing research firms fall into three categories syndicated research that is used by many uh, like nelsons is a good example custom marketing research that any company would like to and specifically uh, uh, spe- specialty line market research uh, uh, that provides specialized research services uh, you don't have to spend a lot of money to get market, market research data there's a lot of uh, public data in libraries government provides a lot of free data and internet is bursting with you know enough enough activity buying mailing list or using an inexpensive method tools like survey monkey can also offer uh, smaller uh, companies smaller firms can collect through that a company might get uh, gain insights by observing the competitors yeah so that's another uh, great way to collect marketing insights many businesses such as restaurants hotels specialty travelers they learn about competitors uh, they observe competitors to learn about the changes that they have made and company can might gather marketing insights by tapping the employee knowledge and experiences So what is the marketing research process and Kotler defines is a five step process of defining the problem developing research plan collecting information analyzing information and making a decision let's look at each of these defining the problem must be careful marketers uh, must be careful not to define the problem either too broadly or too narrowly give me everything that on the in the on let's say uh powder milk that you you can and that's a good example of what not to ask they need to focus on key issues that the marketing and uh, manager must address and at the same time be specific act enough for actionable uh marketing manager that trans needs to translate the business question into a specific uh, research objective and the research varies with the type of information some is exploratory some is descriptive and some is cause cause finding the cause of a problem uh once you have the defined the problem you need to develop a research plan and uh, uh in that can efficiently uh, pl- get uh, the data that you want and discovering what does it cost uh so design a research plan you need to make decide about data sources what data you going to collect what is approaches that you going to use what instruments 
the sampling plan and the contact method. That's, let's look at each of these in the next couple of slides. Uh, Kotler says my data sources, they need to get uh, gather data, prime, uh, secondary data, primary data or both. Secondary data, data that is collected for other pur another purpose and already exists somewhere. You don't generate the new information. Primary is what you freshly generate for your specific purpose. After determining the type of data market, you need to start the space examining whether some of the data the company already collected can be used for addressing. So what you already have, you need to figure that out. The next steps involve the rich variety of low cost and readily available secondary data and then when the data doesn't exist for what you need, then you need to collect the primary data. Uh, what are the research approaches? Marketing marketers can collect primary data in five ways uh, through observation, focus groups, surveys, behavioral data and experiment. Now let's look at each of these. Observational research, <coughs> research get, uh, market researchers can fresh data get uh, gather fresh data by observing unobtrusively as customers shop or consume the product. Sometimes researchers equip consumers with pagers and instruct them to write down or text what they have uh, when they are doing when they are prompted or hold formal interviews in a cafe or a bar. Photograph and videos can also provide wealth of detailed information. Uh, ethnographic research uses concepts and tools from anthropology, anthro anthropology uh, and other social sciences to provide deep cultural understanding and this is becoming a very useful tool. The goal is to immerse the researcher into consumer's life to uncover unarticulated desire that might not surface in any other form of research. Uh, any other type of, uh, any type of form can benefit from deep consumer insights. Uh, of, of, of ethnographic research and is it limited, it isn't limited to consumer products. Focus groups is another form of approach, uh, a focus group is gathering 6 to 10 people carefully selected based on demographic considerations or psychographic considerations and convert into to discuss various topics at length and a small payment, you make small payment to these people. A moderator asks questions and probes the participants opinion based on marketing managers agenda. The goal is to uncover consumers' real motivation and reasons why they say and do certain things. Important. Sessions are, sessions are typically recorded and marketing managers can see from behind the two-way mirrors. Two-way mirrors is where the marketing managers can only see, their participants can't see. To allow in more in-depth discussion, four groups are tended to be smaller in size. Its research is useful, is exploratory step uh, and especially a series of focus groups has revealed consistent preferences and attitude. Researchers must avoid generalizations uh, based on focus group because the sample sizes are small and um, uh, uh, some people feel that this research setting is too contrived and prefers less artificial means like observations. Survey research is uh, a very commonly used method to assess people's knowledge, beliefs, preferences and satisfaction. Company might have its own its format instrument or it might add questions to an omnibus survey that carries questions of several companies. So you can do a syndicated survey also. It can also pose questions to ongoing consumer panel or uh, and run by itself or another company. It may do a small intercept study by having researchers approach people at a shopping mall and ask them questions. It might add a survey request at the end of the call to its customer service department. When conduct a survey online by phone on person, company must, must feel the information they are getting from the uh, mounds of data makes it all worthwhile. Hotels have a very good practice of uh, getting survey research results uh, when the guests leave out. Uh, they also keep tab on what is said about them or ratings like on trip, like TripAdvisor and that is happening on many, many, for many, many products. Survey data can affect the services uh, that the companies provide, the products they provide and that's very useful. Behavioral research is another one that provides the deep insights. It leaves traces. Consumers leave traces of their purchasing behavior in a variety of places. Store scanning data, catalog purchasing, customer databases. Behavioral research uses this data to gain better understanding of customers and their action. Actual purchases reflect customers' preferences and are often more reliable than statements consumer make. There is what is called experimental research is basically designed to capture cause and effect relationship. It's, if it is well designed and executed, research and marketing managers can have confidence in its conclusion. Uh, experiments call for selecting match group of subjects, subjecting them to different treatment, controlling extraneous variable and checking the observed differences responses are statistically significant. 
significant. If we can eliminate or control extraneous factor, we can relate the observed effect of the variations in the treatment of the stimuli. Research instrument, what are the kind of research instruments you have doing conducting the market research? Uh, have a choice of three main types of uh, instruments in collecting primary data, questionnaires, qualitative measures, and technological devices. Let's look at the questionnaires. Questionnaire consists of a set of questions that is given to the respondent. Because of its flexibility, it is the most common instrument used in collecting primary data. The form, the wording, the sequence of questions can influence the response. Testing and debugging is necessary. Close, there are two types of questionnaires as you will see. Close-ended questions specify all possible answers and responses are easier to interpret and tabulate. Open-ended questions allow respondents to answer on their own. They are usually useful, they are especially useful in exploratory research where the researchers are looking for insights into how people think rather than measuring how many think in a certain way. So you have an example of a close-ended questionnaire here in which you can ask uh, many types of close-ended questions like dichotomous will have two possible answers, multiple choices, Likert scale on a scale of five, you say how much do you like it, semantic differential, important scale and rating scale. So there are a variety of close-ended questions you can have a look at if you want to recap more about this. Open-ended questions are more like uh, uh, completely unstructured, word association, sentence completion, story completion, and picture interpretation. So there are a variety of open-ended questions that you can see. Qualitative measures are used by marketeers for gauging consumer opinion because they believe consumers' actions do not always match their questions in survey. Qualitative research techniques are relatively indirect and unstructured measurement approaches. Limited only to market research creativity that permit a range of responses. Such methods can be especially useful as the initial step of exploring consumers' perception because respondents are much less guarded and may reveal more about themselves. It has its own drawbacks. Sample is often very large. Sample size and results may be generalized and the, uh, different researchers may interpret the results differently. Nevertheless, interest in qualitative methods is increasing because everyone is looking for those unarticulated needs. What are the popular methods in uh, 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 qualitative measures? Word association, projective techniques, visualization, brand personification, and laddering. These are the five main things. You can read more in this slide if you download this slide. There is another technique uh, called measure, uh, method which is called measurement devices, which is driven by technology. It makes the technology makes marketer to use uh, things like sensors, brain waves, scanners, and full body scanner to get consumer responses. One particular uh, method is uh, physiognomy, in which number of increasingly cost-effective method of studying the eye and face movement of eyes and faces consumers have been developed in recent years, which diverse application. Facial recognition software estimates users' age and gender and interactive ads uh, targeting the specific demographics then appear, and you get an uh, indication of the interest of the consumers. And an it is an alternative to traditional consumer research is begin to develop more sophisticated technique adopted from neuroscience to monitor brain activity to uh, better gauge consumer response to marketing efforts. Uh, firms are using uh, EEG electroencephalography technology to correlate brain activity with psychological cues such as skin temperament or eye movement and thus gauge how people react to ads. Researchers studying the brain have found the different results from convention. The results to be different from the conventional research method. Uh, other researchers research found little effect. So it's a kind of controversial thing. In addition, several studies found higher correlation with brain wave research and behavioral than the surveys. Given the complexity of human brain, many researchers caution that it should not form the sole basis, and you need to look elephant from all its six sides. Coming to the step of collecting information, marketing collection phase of marketing research is generally the most expensive and error prone. Uh, respondents will be away from, uh, some respondents may be away from home, office or otherwise inaccessible and must be contacted again. Some may refuse to cooperate or give dishonest answers. In order to control costs while maintaining high quality, uh, your company must develop sampling plan and data collection plan. Uh, a sampling plan is uh, after, uh, is about uh, put to, uh, to designing the high, is basically aimed to design a high quality responses while keeping the cost in line and with which there can be a statistical confidence. Calls for three decisions sampling unit. Uh, whom should we survey? 
who are the, who is the target respondent with the sampling unit chosen marketing should must design the sampling frame so everyone in the target population is equal or no chance of being sampled a sample size is critical now, how many people do we need to survey we need to be answered large sample size give more reliability but it's not necessary to sample obviously the entire population less than 1% of population can samples of less than 1% of the population can often provide good reliability with credible sampling procedure Sampling procedure is the next thing is a part of the sampling plan and the key question is how should we choose the respondent? Probability sampling now allows marketer to correlate uh, calculate confidence limits uh, for uh, sampling error and make the samples more representative. So whole idea is to make your sample more representative. Uh, for uh, you, the marketer must also decide how to contact that you could do online in person by email or mail or by telephone. Let's look at each of these. Online is, uh, internet is providing a lot of flexibility with the online method. Company can embed a question in a website, offer incentive to answer, or put a banner, on, uh, uh, can replace a banner in which you can ask questions. It provides information much faster. Also can host real-time consumer panel with a virtual fair focus group or sponsor a chat room, bulletin board, or blog with, where they introduce questions from time to time. They can ask customers to brainstorm and have companies uh, uh, and have the company's Twitter followers rate an idea. Yes, most of new survey providers have entered the market like Survey Monkeys, Survey Gizmo, Qualitrix, Consumer, Consumer, Google Consumer Survey, and that's a very popular form. Other means to use internet as a research tool include tracking how many customers click stream through the company's website and move to other sites, and you can use along with that Google Analytics. Marketers can post different uh, prices. Uh, Headlines and product features on separate website or at different times to compare the relative effectiveness. Researchers can use text messaging in variety of ways to chat with the respondent to probe more deeply into, into uh, with a member on online focus group or direct respondent on a website. Text messaging is specifically useful for uh, interacting with teenagers. In person is the conventional and most versatile method. Uh, can ask more questions, record additional observations about the respondent, such as dress and body language. Is the most expensive method, is subject to interview bias and requires more planning and supervision. In arranged interviews, marketeer contact respondents uh, uh, with an after an appointment and frequently offer a small incentive or payment. In intercept interviews, uh, researchers stop people at shopping mall and just ask questions, interview them on the spot. Uh, intercept interview must be quick and they must they run the risk of including non-probability uh, samples. Uh, emails and mails are again a good way. Uh, one is, is one way to reach people who do not want, don't want to give personal interviews and whose, whose responses may be biased or distorted by the interview. It requires simple and clearly worded question. Unfortunately, the responses are very few and they are slow. Telephone is again a very useful method. You can get information quickly, clarify question if the respondents don't understand. Follow up on responses. Interview must be brief and not too personal. Uh, response rates are typically higher than mail questionnaire. Interviewing is getting, telephone interview is getting increasingly difficult because the consumer is growing a path towards telemarketers. Uh, there's another method called data mining that can be used to gather data. Uh, uh, stat, uh, where marketing strategic extract from mass of data useful information about individual trends and groups. Uh, data mining uses sophisticated tools like cluster uh, analysis, predictive modeling, and cognitive modeling. Uh, in general, companies use the data in several ways to get consumer value, to identify prospects, to decide which consumers should receive a particular offer, to deepen consumer loyalty, to reactivate consumer purchases to avoid serious uh, consumer mis customer mistakes. Uh, once you have the data collected, obviously you need to analyze information in the whole research process and make decisions. Uh, so it's the next step process. The researcher computes averages and measures of diverse uh, dispersion of the major variables and applies relevant statistical techniques and decision models to discover additional findings. They may test different hypotheses and theories, applying sensitivity analysis to test assumption and the strengths of the conclusion. While analyzing the available information and making decisions, it is important to draw a line between marketing data, market data and market insights. Insights are what is your interpretation from the data. 
Market data alone is typical, not very useful unless they offer insights that improve market managers' understanding of the problem and enhance the cost effectiveness of their action. Thus, interpreting the data and relating to problem at hand play a crucial role in managerial decision making. Let's look at a couple of other things that you do in uh, measuring <coughs> in market research, like uh, measuring market de uh, demand. Uh, that uh, it, uh, understanding this can help market market researchers can help identify marketing opportunity. The company must measure and forecast the size, growth, and profit potential for each new opportunity. Sales forecasts is prepared by, market, by marketing are used uh, by finance to raise cash for investment, by manufacturing established, by purchasing. So it's a very important thing. If the forecast is off the mark, company will face excess or inadequate inventory or excess capacity or underutilization. Because it is estimates based on estimates of demand, managers need to define exactly what do they mean by marketing uh, market demand. The, what are the key concepts in demand measurement? Uh, the major concepts are market and company demand, market forecast, company sales forecast, market potential and company sales potential. Let's look at each of these. Market demand for an offering is the total volume that can be bought by a defined consumer group in a defined geographic area in a time period in defined market environment under a defined market problem. So a lot of inputs go in and then you determine what could be the total volume. Company demand is company company's estimated share of market demand at alternative level of mark company's marketing effort at a given point of time. Market demand corresponds to the actual level of industry uh, marketing expenditure and that determines the actual marketing demand. Company sales forecast the expected level of company sales based on chosen marketing plan and assumed marketing environment. There are two more concepts that we need to talk about. Sales quota is the sales goal set for a product uh, for the sales representative or a division. Uh, sales budget is a consumer estimate of the expected volumes of sale, primarily for making current purchasing production cash decision and preparing a business plan. Some more concepts, uh, key concepts in demand measurement. Total market potential consists of maximum sales available to all firms in an industry during a given period, under a given industry market effort and under extra, extra, uh, marketing condition. Market forecast shows expected market demand, not maximum market demand. Uh, uh, and for the marketing demand, we need to visualize the level of market demand, resulting for a very high level of industry market expenditure, where further increase in market efforts would have little effect. So it's the ultimate saturation point. Marketing potential is the limit approach by marketing demand, as we said, in, as the industry marketing uh, expenditure reaches infinity uh, for a given marketing environment. A common me measure of estimating total market potential is to multiply the tot potential number of buyers by the average quantity purchases and then by the price. Company sales potential is a sales limit approach by the company. Uh, demand by the mar marketing efforts uh, increases to relative to that a competitor. The absolute limit of company demand is of course the market potential. The two would be equal if company captured 100% of the share. Company sales potential less than the market potential because when the company marketing expenditure increases considerably, uh, even if uh, it increases considerably, each marketing has a hard core of loyal buyers which are unresponsive to another company's effort to lure them. How do you forecast marketing uh, market demand? Uh, forecasting is an art. Most commonly methods are macroeconomic to start with macroeconomic uh, forecast followed by industry forecast followed by the company sales forecast. Macroeconomic forecasts, uh, project look, uh, projects, inflation, un unemployment, interest rates, consumer spending, business environment, government expenditures, exports, and then uh, says what will happen to the GDP growth in the future years to come. The company derives its sales forecast by assuming a it will win in the, a certain market share based on the market demand. Uh, how do uh, firms develop forecasts? They may create their own or buy forecasts from outside sources, specialized forecasting firm produce, long range forecasts for a particular macro economical, uh, macro, uh, macro environment components. All forecasts are built uh, or uh, one to three information uh, based biases. What people say, what people do and what people have done. Based on these three, three things, what people say, what people do and what people have done. Using what people say requires surveying of uh, intentions, uh, composite of sales for opinion or expert opinion. Building forecasts of what people do will uh, be putting uh, 
product to test and understanding the buyer responses and what people have done will uh, lo looking at analyze the past data and behaviors forecasting industry let's talk about forecasting industry sales and market share uh, in trade associations will often collect data and publish total industry sales then you can make use of that with this information company can evaluate its own performance against what in a case in this industry whole and if the, if the company sales increasing 5% and the industry is net percent, the company is losing its relative standing in the market. Another way to estimate sales is to buy reports from market research firm that audit total sales in the branches like Nelson does. Company can purchase this information and compare its performance to the total industry. Uh, because distributors typically are not very uh, not supply information about how many competitors products they are selling business to business operate less knowledge about the market share data but distributors are also a good source of this survey of buy intentions uh, uh, let's talk about that market research carry out buyer intention surveys for variety of things and they get 10 percent margin of error good data this surface useful estimating demand for industrial product consumer durable uh, product purchase that require advanced planning and new purchases. The value increases to the extent the buyers are fewer, cost of reaching them is low. A popular survey method status, uh, based uh, statics to use in the market is conjoint analysis, which helps determine how many consumers, uh, how consumers value different attributes, product, features, service, benefits, price that make up the entire offering. So, how do we use Salesforce opinions? A Salesforce opinion, the buying expert. Uh, interviewing buyers is impractical. The company may ask the sale representative to estimate their future sale. Sales forecasts do yield a number of benefits. Reps might have a better insights into developing trends than any other group. A grassroots forecasting process provides detailed estimates broken down by product, territory, customers and the rep and it can be built up. Uh, few companies use these estimates without making any adjustments. However, sales reps might be pessimistic, optimistic, and you need to make some adjustment there. To encourage better estimating, companies could offer incentive assistance such as information about marketing plan or past forecast compared to actual sales. Expert opinion is another way to estimate market demand, market forecast. Company can also obtain certain forecasts from experts, including dealers, distributors, suppliers. <laughs> Dealer estimates are subject to uh, to same strength and weakness as a sales force estimate. Companies buy economic and industry forecasts from well-known economic forecasting firms that is more reliable, uh, that have data uh, more data available and are offer uh, offer more uh, forecasting expertise and hence more reliable. Companies also invite group of experts to prepare a forecast. Experts exchange view and produce an estimate as a group uh, or individually. And uh, further rounds that might require further round of estimating and refining using the Delphi method. Uh, past sales analysis in the market test method is another good way of estimating the market demand. Uh, firms may develop forecasts on the basis of the past sales. Time series analysis break past data into four components: trend, cycle, seasons, and erratic, and project them into future. Exponential smoothing pro projects the next uh, period sales by. Combining uh, and uh, most recent sales gives more weight to the later. Statistical demand analysis measures the impact of set of causal factors like income, market expenditure on the demand and makes the sales forecast. Econometric analysis builds uh, sets of equations that describe a system and statistically drives the different uh, parameters that makes up the equation. Advanced machine learning techniques are revolutionizing the marketing by automating and speeding up the tasks that range from applying sales and revenue to spotting industry trend. Market test method is where buyers uh, 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 are asked to uh, say what kind of uh, intention do they have, uh, especially useful when buyers don't plan their purchases and experts are available. They can help forecast new product sales by asking questions on purchase intention. Uh, market research can also be used for measuring marketing productivity. It's uh, uh, we can easily quantify marketing expenses, investment is input. The results output are uh, uh, difficult and uh, and may take months and year to manifest themselves. Uh, the results like uh, brand image, customer loyalty, improve new product prospects, etc. Uh, while internal changes in the organization and external change in the marketing market may coincide with market expenditure, it's hard to isolate the effects. Uh, marketing research must assist the efficiency in effective marketing activity. Two complementary approaches for measuring marketing effectiveness are marketing matrices to assess marketing effects and marketing mixed modeling to estimate the 
causal relationship and measure how marketing activities affect the outcomes. Let's look at each of these. Marketing matrices uh, employ a wide variety of uh, measures to assess marketing effects. Marketing matrices is a set of measures that help marketers quantify, compare and interpret the performance. Uh, marketers use one or more measure based on particular issue or problems. Can split evaluation of marketing performance in two parts, short term results like uh, often reflect profit and loss concerns as shown by the sales turnover, or shareholder value and brand equity measures which include consumer awareness, attitudes, behavior, market share, relative price premiums, number of complaints, distribution availability, more number of customers, etc. Companies can also monitor an ex extensive set of internal metrics such as innovation. Uh, Marketing mixed modeling, uh, market, uh, marketing accountability also means for marketing must precisely estimate the effect of different marketing uh, investments. This mixed modeling analyzes data from a variety of sources such as like retail scanning data, company shipment data, as well as pricing, media and promotional expenditure to understand more precisely the effect of specific marketing activity. To deepen understanding, marketing can conduct multivariate analysis such as regression analysis to investigate how each marketing element influences marketing outcomes. Uh, analysis explored which part of budget was wasted and what was optimally used and what minimum investment should be. Although marketing mixed modeling helps to isolate effect, it's less effective this is how different marketing investments work in combination. It has three other shortcomings. Mixed modeling uh, focuses on incremental growth versus the or uh, method of baseline sales or long-term effects. Uh, the integration of uh, important matrices such as customer satisfaction, awareness, etc. is not is very limited and mixed modeling generally fails to incorporate matrices related to competitors, the, the trade and the sales, for, sales force. Uh, uh, marketing research can also be used uh, for creating marketing dashboards. Uh, management can assemble summary of relevant internal measures in a marketing dashboard for synthesis and interpretation. Uh, like, they are like instruments that drive a car or a plane. Finally, marketing dashboard are concise interconnected performance uh, drivers to, to be viewed in common throughout the organization. Uh, uh, company can input into market data certain two key market base, uh, one that reflects performance, another that provides early warning signals. Dashboards are only as good as the information, very clear to say. Color coding symbols in different types can be used. Some companies are also appointing marketing controllers to review budgets and action. These controllers are building market intelligence software to create uh, diligent versions of marketing dashboards. Marketing dash that should provide all the up to minute, up to minute information, not up to date information <laughs> necessary to run a business operation. And an effective dashboard will focus on thinking, improving internal communication and reveal where marketing investments are paying off, where they are not. Uh, there are four common uh, pathways uh, uh, for marketing that pursue today. Customer uh, metrics pathway, the unit uh, metrics pathway, cash flow metrics pathway and the brand metrics pathway. Ideally, over period of time, number of metrics dashboards should be reduced to a few key drivers. While the process of developing refinery dashboards can be undoubtedly to raise and resolve many questions about the market, some executives worry that they will miss the big picture. Uh, critics are concerned that the privacy and the pressure of the techniques uh, placed in the, uh, on the employees. But most experts feel the rewards are worth the risk. So having looked at how can you do conduct the market research, what do we do next? So as uh, we've been doing, there are two cases that you can use to apply these concepts and uh, uh, the way you can do is you can look at the assignments, do it yourself, compare with the answers that you provide, learn from that and if you have questions, get back to us for a good healthy discussion. So thank you so much for watching this uh, lecture in which we have talked about conducting market research from chapter 5 of Codeless Marketing Management. We have recapped it. Hope you will find this useful whenever you need to look at the summary of this chapter.